The dog is still there. The dog is still there. Is the dog? Yeah. It's so pretty. <laughs> Okay, so you know, let's let's try. So we're driving down 86th Street on the Upper East Side in New York City. This is how it is during COVID times. Um, yeah, so we also are trying this new system that we, you know, vlogging system. It's like a little grip, so uh, you can see the, our plug here. I mean, how amazing is this, right? We're driving down. And uh, just doing our thing, Manhattan. So we're turning on to 2nd Avenue. We're going to her mom's house now to do some business. Um, and it's, it's a little more normal. You know, you can sit outside and eat. You know, it's still well, August. Tell them about the fact that we were at Staples and literally we went Staples, to Staples was full. Staples was full of people, so was Best Buy. I people guess because out. school is starting this week. School starting. And to the right, you see that little green building? That's Schaller and Weber. That's an old German uh, you know, market slash restaurant that's been here for as long as I can remember. Um, you know. And there's a German restaurant there, and, and there's Heidelberg's restaurant that's been there for a very long time. Yeah. This used to be called uh, Germantown up here, but during World War II, it was uh, didn't become so popular to be German. Yeah. Look um, at this beautiful Second Avenue, Manhattan. Of course, you see the yellow cops. Of course, they are everywhere, always. Yeah. And they cut you off, and you have to be very <laughs> careful driving. Yeah. In New York City. Um, it's a really nice day, sunny, warm, but a little bit of a breeze under shadow. So we're at 85th and 2nd now, Mexicoma is on the right, that's a great Mexican place. And there's also um, a Hungarian uh, pastry shop called Budapest. Budapest, you see in Hungarian they say pastry like that. And of course people are screaming. People are honking, <laughs> for no particular reason. You know, you're not going fast enough, you didn't make the light, you didn't do exactly what they wanted you to do. Oh, and so, then here we are, tight, tight, tight. Tight corners here. I'm going to make a left at 79th Street, but I'm, I'm not going to get to the left lane yet because I don't know if somebody's going to be blocking the lane or whatnot. It's very nerve-wracking, it's very frightening trying to drive in New York City, especially for a new driver. And you see this person is speeding. Um, if you're a new driver or from another part of the country, it's very, uh, you know, nerve-wracking like this. I don't understand if he's going to stop or if he's turning. You just have to be very aware of your surroundings because there's other drivers, there's taxi cabs, there's bicyclists, there's pedestrians, police officers. So. So, uh, here we are back again. 
again we are going to show you guys uh, a secret way to get on the bridge it's a little past I don't know if it's open or is it open oh no I'm sorry guys oh, they're going hold on they're going no it looks like it's closed no there are people going let's just watch them Oh, you see where those white cars, they're going through? That's where the secret passage is to take the um, Queensboro Bridge and you avoid all the, going, going. Ooh, the little traffic. Careful here. You have to be careful of every old income traffic because in New York, the problem is you just, you know, you don't know where it's coming from. People are walking, bicyclists are bicycling, cars are driving. So there it is, the secret passage. Zero traffic. And there's some beautiful views as well that you could enjoy. I'm gonna turn it a little bit.